but when i had the vision that represented my mandate it confused me for many years because in that vision i saw a generation of people i've shared it with you many times you've heard it that it was a generation of people and they were crying and in that vision i came i was upstairs a building hiding from people who were maybe wanted to enjoy me or something like that and when i looked at the people those in front were zoomed to me and they said i asked them what is wrong and i remember them saying no food and no water and i said ah, ah no food and no water how does that relate to spirituality and then i said who is the cause and they pointed to me i said me i can't be that wicked to do this to you and then i said okay i'm coming to help you where would i get the food and water i opened that door and it was not a chef i saw when i opened that door to go out i said if i perish i perish i saw an old bearded gray-headed man now i know he's the holy spirit and he held my tiny hands to go and serve food and water do you need a chef or you need an old man hear me there are some of you today by reason of this teaching if you want to be effective go back to school while we are praying be praying too but go back and get your phd and your professorship because your assignment it may not be for everybody but for you there is a place you have left where destiny has been crying who should occupy this position you are here joining us in prayer we don't need to have a phd we don't need to be professors we have found solace in priesthood but will be wicked to tell you don't do yours esther don't look for a man of god alone look for Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins he is the authorized mentor to train you if he's a hazardous that you want to sit near it will take more than mordecai is there as a man of god but in addition to mordecai look for a guy he's the one who trains the keepers the women who are with the king no matter how mordecai loves you he cannot give you the training of royalty because mordecai sits at the gate he's an intercessor he's the one who will caution you but he's not the one who will make you queen Ruth, if you want to leave your assignment, obtain grace from God and don't run away from Naomi when you see her. Because if you run away from Naomi looking for Elijah, you will never see Boaz. The things that are written are for time, they are for our learning, so that we, through patience and the comfort of Scripture, might find hope. Elijah. If you know you are called to be a prophet, you better look for Elijah. Even when Daniel calls you, don't go. Your destiny is with Elijah. Don't make the mistake of leaving Elijah to be trained by Daniel. Daniel cannot make Elisha to carry the double portion of Elijah's mantle. Is someone learning? Dear businessman, do not think less of your passion to have financial resources for kingdom advance. Provided your heart is right and it's not a search for mundane carnal acquisition of things. But hear me. I give you a precaution and I give you a warning. Every time the king calls, whether you are Elijah, whether you are Daniel, whether you are Anna the prophetess, the position is to take off your crown from everywhere. Whether you are in government house, in the research institute, you are here standing like me preaching, or you are someone leading a leadership institute, you are a justice, or you are whoever. The moment there is the clarion call of the king together. They teach us 
in social studies um, government nationalism and all kinds of courses that anywhere you are when you hear the national anthem of your nation what did they teach that you do that you stand where you are because the moment the national anthem comes you are no longer a professor you are no longer a banker you are no longer a doctor you are the citizen of that nation when you see an american person or a british i can't remember which of the nation we traveled to and i was on my way returning i think that was last year and then i noticed everybody was standing at the airport i said what's happening they said they're about to sing the national anthem i said oh wow i'm not a nationality of that nation but i had to stand to respect their honor so when the master says believers fast he didn't tell men of god he told all of us when he says believers seek my face he's not speaking to a man of god are we together one thing that happened to everybody was that it was their relationship with god that caused them to excel ruth if you leave god boaz will look at you like a village girl who needs help and never be able to marry you elijah if you leave god you will be one of those prophets maybe a false one joseph if you leave god you will remain in prison there even if you come out of prison you will go back home not the throne the factor that does not change is jesus christ and his purposes this is sound doctrine this is discipleship that turns members to ambassadors let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen god is tired of church members i don't say that to mean membership is wrong you understand the context god is tired of membership who are like sheep, respectfully speaking without direction and anything the ma there are many believers who are confused in their spiritual adventure the reason why many people are living the faith life is because there is no excitement and purpose connected to it now when you come for koinonia every week as i am teaching you there is purpose connected to what i'm telling you when i teach you on finances i will teach with the same passion as when i'm teaching on fasting and prayer because in my economy there is no difference provided it is a tool that reveals jesus i will teach it with the same passion there are some of you here when we are talking of prayer and fasting you listen when we are talking of revival you are happy but when we are talking of influence principles of territorial you know kingdom advancement you just shut down and say kai this is not what i want to hear it's a mistake it's a mistake you must embrace the whole counsel of god there is the area of emphasis forever i'm a man of god that is my assignment if you see me talk among business people is an elective if you see me talk among politicians and the rest my core assignment is here ah and i'll be a true soldier i'll do as it beats me whatever the cost I'll be a true soldier. I'll die at my post. We spend ourselves and wear ourselves because we have come to find out that he is more than life. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, 6 6 30, I'm out of this city again, preaching for Baba Wale Oke in Ibadan. By night, I'm on my way to Lagos, returning back, then Cote d'Ivoire. Why am I doing this? It's more than fame. If it's fame, writing a book is cheaper than stretching yourself. Please look at me. I want you to look up to us as we follow Jesus sincerely. But as you look up to us, you better be honest to find out whether if you are Esther, thank God for Mordecai, but please find a guy if you are elisha even if you find moses look for elijah is someone hearing what i'm saying yes. there are business people who are being mentored by prophets you will be a prayer warrior not an economic giant respect the prayer warrior 
but find a sound financial mentor with a kingdom dimension who will teach you the economic system of the cosmos while you honor the prophet you are truly trained by the one who helps you become are we together there are people here by reason of your assignment god is subjecting you to high level influence and exposure i'm not teaching you dishonor the truth is that sometimes we men of god by reason of our assignment god may not have to expose us that much but your own assignment requires that you understand the ethics of royalty you understand the ethics of culture and how to navigate yourself if you are mentored only by the man of god teaching you on stage you will fail when you stand before kings in addition to what mordecai does it is Haggai who will teach you what the king wants and Haggai said let me teach you something he told her something mordecai never told her he said when it has to do with ahasuerus i have worked with him I know what he wants take this oil let me teach you what the king wants rub this oil for one year when Daniel went to Babylon it was not Bible study they were teaching them there they taught them the way of the Babylonians is it in your Bible the anointing he had from priesthood empowered him to be ten times better but what exalted him was his ability to solve real-life problems